What is America up to? Could the purpose of operations currently carried out by the U.S. government somehow be reflected in the design of its capital city? At the center of controversy are secret societies. Many of America's leaders have belonged to them right from the nation's beginning. George W. Bush has admitted to his membership in the mysterious Skull and Bones Society. You were both in Skull and Bones, the secret society. It's so secret we can't talk about it. What does that mean for America? The conspiracy theorists are going to go on. sure they are. I don't know. I haven't seen the web. Number 322. <laughs> <laughs> Skull and Bones has to be one of the darkest of all secret societies that exists on this planet. It is about greed and it is about power. The idea for Skull and Bones is said to have come out of Germany in the early part of the 19th century. The society was founded at Yale University by William Huntington Russell, along with Attorney General and Secretary of War Alfonso Taft, whose son, William Howard Taft, would go on to become America's 27th president. Some believe the society's foundation demonstrates a clear link with what may be the oldest society of all, Freemasonry. The society is shown here in 1993, reenacting the laying of the cornerstone for the United States Capitol on the 200th anniversary of the event. Know all of you who hear me, we proclaim ourselves free and lawful Masons, true to the laws of our country professing to revere God and to confer benefits upon mankind. This is the ceremony in which Senator Strom Thurmond, himself a 33rd degree Mason, took part. Senator Thurmond, we would like you to join in this. Since the William Morgan incident in 1826, when Americans uncovered a secret cabal working inside the government, the presence of Masonry in places of power has always sparked debate. But their influence in American government is undeniable. This is the same Bible upon which Presidents Clinton, Bush, Carter, and George Washington were inaugurated president. Of America's 43 presidents, at least 15 are confirmed Masons, though some say the number is even greater. In addition to the Capitol, the Freemasons have laid the cornerstone for every major building in Washington, D.C. The cornerstones of the President's House, known to us as the White House, the Washington Monument, the Smithsonian, Independence Hall in Philadelphia, incidentally by past Grandmaster Benjamin Franklin, and Constitution Hall, stand out among many others as outstanding examples of cornerstones which have been laid Masonically. The cornerstone of the United States Capitol, however, stands out above all buildings erected in the free world as the seat of government for our people. This bronze plaque, located inside the U.S. Capitol, marks the spot where the original cornerstone was laid by George Washington, the first American president and a Freemason. Let's 
to me I can the double take my brother if it's close to me I let it go back to when we play these kids But things change, that's the way it is I wonder what it takes to make this One better place, let's erase the waste Take the evil out the people, they'll be acting right There's both black and white, and smoke crack tonight And the only time we chill is when we kill each other It takes guilt to be real time to heal each other And although it seems ever sick, we ain't ready to see a black presence in It ain't a secret, don't conceal the fact The penitentiary's back, and it's filled with black But some things will never change Try to show another way, but it's in the dope game Now tell me what's a mother to do to the brother and you, you gotta operate the easy way. But you made it in the sleazy way. Seven o'clock to the key. It's time for us as a people to start making some changes Let's change the way we eat, let's change the way we live And let's change the way we treat each other You see the old way wasn't working so it's on us to do what we gotta do to survive And still I see no changes, can a brother get a little peace? It's war on the streets and the war in the Middle East Instead of war on poverty, they got a war on drugs so the police can bother me And I ain't never did a crime, I ain't have to do But now I'm back with the facts, giving it back to you Don't let them jack you up, back you up, crack you up, and put back you up You gotta learn to hold your own, they get jealous when they see you with your mobile phone But tell the cops can't touch this, I don't trust this When they try to rush, I bust this It's the sound number two, you say it ain't cool My mama didn't raise no fool You have the emergence in human society of this thing that's called the state against lynchers, they tell us to be non-violent. We should defend ourselves, and when I say that we should defend ourselves against the violence of others, they, they use their press skillfully to make the world think that I'm calling on violence, period. And I wouldn't call on anybody to be violent uh, without a cause. what you want to be. How can you fight each other over such a trivial matter? So it seems you forgot what the bandits did to your people. It's those guys. It's the fucking bankers, the politicians, and the bad guys. We declare our rights on this earth to be a man, to be a human being, to be respected as a human being, to be given the right to Wow. 
privilege that they display at the international level when you and I want just a little bit of freedom, we're supposed to be knocked by. trying to pretend like you didn't see it. When we see our people being brutalized by white bigots, white racists, we think that they are foolish to allow themselves to be beaten and brutalized and do nothing whatsoever to protect themselves. They are foolish. They, have, if they should have the right to defend themselves against any attack made against them by anyone. If a dog is biting a black man, the black man should kill the dog. Whether the, the dog is a police dog, a hound dog, or any kind of dog, then that black man should kill that dog or any two-legged dog who sticks the dog on. <laughs> <laughs>